Tracking down the fiend was easy enough. His wife told me exactly where to find him. She also took the time to get him good and drunk. Supposedly, he relished in the fact that his wife finally supported his nasty habits. She tied him up and got him ready to be tortured by yours truly. No name. The Dark Web Serial Killer. Good. You're here. This idiot's gotta go. He wouldn't shut up. So I had to duct tape him. Thanks, I, I guess. But I don't think I'm gonna need all that. I've got big plans for this guy. Work your magic. I told the poor fool I was going to rip the tape from his mouth on the count of five. I did it on three. <laughs> what? Are you going to cry? What a little man child you are. Suck it up, boy. You're going to die. It's much better this way. You and your drinking would have landed you dead. That's suicide, boy. And God don't forgive that. And if you're lucky, I'll see you in the afterlife. Hmm. But I bet not even God will forgive all the horrible things you've put your family through. Pig. I wanted to go ahead and begin the torture, but I had to set everything up. I get, um... Well, I don't like to complain, but I get frustrated every time I have to set things up. I don't like doing that. I don't care how a camera spins its gears. I just want to be entertaining and kill people. Maybe Dickens can find me a cameraman. A sidekick of sorts. Once I had everything ready to go, I pressed the red live button and began the performance. Oh, how I've missed my family. Not enough scoundrels to murder these days with half the city staying indoors and social distancing. No matter. I have someone here today, a real winner. Father of the year, Mr. Richard Crest. You see... The story with him is he's been killing himself for the past, what, Richard? 15 years, I think? Whatever. The, the point is, all that alcohol he drinks is going to catch up to him eventually, and he'll kick the bucket. I usually go after killers, right? Well, this is suicide, and it's still murder. Tell me, chat members of the Annihilation Chamber... Would our friend Mr. Crest, had he been allowed to live, die from heart failure? Kill himself and God knows who else in a car wreck? Or would he drink so much that his body would explode? Imagine it. Guts flying everywhere. Maybe we can make that happen tonight. Do you have anything to say for yourself, Richard? <laughs> Close your damn mouth then. Your nasty ass has been up drinking since 7 a.m. And we have a lovely guest with us this evening, the wife. She was just going to watch from the chats like the rest of you. But she wanted to step it up a bit and help out. You, Elsa, have earned my deepest respect. Would you like to take the first swing? We have a baseball bat wrapped in wire, ready to taste some blood. Thanks, No Name. I sure would. You know, I'm a big fan of yours, and it's an honor that I get to serve in Dickens' cleaning crew. Cleaning up after your kills brings actual meaning to my life. I'm doing something good for this godless city. Amazing. Username Dickens is our savior has donated $300 for your last statement. Dickens will be overjoyed. And now people are spamming in the chat. Dickens is greater than all men. Okay, yeah, they're not wrong. Well, they're excited, and so am I. Go on, swing at our victim. He's dying to be killed. Gladly. <laughs> That's for hitting our son Danny when all he did was accidentally spill your precious beer on your precious play, or whatever the hell it was you were writing. It sucked anyway. Can I do one more? Well, batter up. <laughs> that one's for me. Your wife, who you've lied to, cheated on, beaten half to death, said nasty things to, come home late at night drunk trying to force yourself on me with your stinking breath, your horrible, sweaty breathing. You were a nice guy once when you were sober. And when you stayed dry for two years, two years, Richard, then one drink, it's all downhill. You disgust me. Mr. Crest. 
Let's dive into your vile behaviors a little bit before I chop your body up into teeny tiny little pieces. Let's see. You did all the stuff your wife mentioned, yes, and what else? Do you want to tell all of my adoring fans what else you did? No? Wow, you really aren't that great when you're blackout drunk. Uh, Okay, well, for starters, weren't you the guy who robbed your neighbors at gunpoint because you needed money after getting fired? Yep, he did that. The only reason they didn't press charges was because they were sweet, elderly, and didn't want to take the time to deal with the courts and lawyers. They're dead now. But yep, he sure did. The elderly. Really, Richard? You are pure evil. That's why you're getting punished. Let's see, what else? Uh, Oh, you stalked the young woman who works at the gas station, followed her to her house, and wouldn't stop banging on her windows. You also beat a kid who was just riding his bike down your street. You shot someone's dog at 3 a.m. because they interrupted your drinking game. The list goes on. You are a demon in a man's body, and I'm so incredibly thrilled that I get to murder you today. Here. Have a final sip of rum before I bury you. I smiled widely as I reached for my supply bag. I pulled out a tiny shot-sized bottle and poured it over his head. The man was so drunk that it didn't faze him. He merely groaned and tried to lick up the drops that were falling from his head. Pathetic. I mumbled as I began to make cuts all over his body with my falchion. It was then that I wished I had waited to pour the rum on him. Oh well. The ratings were high and the chats were moving. Good riddance, asshole. I'm doing you a favor and you ain't even gonna say thank you. Go ahead. No name. Slit his throat. Some people, Elsa, just aren't that grateful. It's a sad world out there. Goodbye, Richard. Oh, so now you want to talk? Now that you're going to die at any minute? What? You're sorry. Let us hear you say it then, mouth breather. Closer. You can't even be a full-grown man about it. You gotta be a little bitch. You are going to hell. Elsa. No, I'm not. I didn't kill you. No name did. (gasps) It's still murder. (coughs) I love you, Richard. I'll always love you. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, there you have it. Two dead bodies for the price of one, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, folks, do good deeds and I probably won't have to murder you. I shut the camera off, looking at the mess that had been made and shook my head. I'd gotten blood and tiny pieces of Richard's skin on my good jacket. I knew Dickens wasn't going to be happy about losing Elsa. But I also reasoned that he could quickly have her replaced. Murder can be messy and complex. But that's just how I do business. I wish I had never opened that door. Raw the flesh, bugs, altars made for sacrifices. I thought I had seen it all. I had no idea what I was getting into. This has been a Chris uh, Top production. Yeah. The Chris Top program listened to by at least three people worldwide. <laughs>